All right, we are live. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I want to. I want some people to come in to check it. I'm doing a painting. This is kind of a test setup. I just want to uh, test this whole setup using a webcam and my laptop and this microphone on the headphones. And I only have a limited amount of time, about two hours. So I had to throw this together real quick. An unscheduled stream. I'm gonna post this out to Facebook, maybe Twitter. I wanna get some people coming in watching if they have time. Let me test, is, is the sound working? It's two o'clock. Let me test, is it? Okay, it is. What's going on, Jersey Girl? Thanks for tuning in. This one isn't a scheduled stream because uh, I have very limited time. I didn't know I was going to have this free time, so I'm just testing out different camera angles and stuff and seeing what's uh, what's going to happen. Um, need to get all my reference photos, and I'm going to start a painting of a little sunset, some clouds I took last night. I was lucky enough to catch this, so. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a painting, something simple, but something that's has an impact, a powerful, uh, it's a powerful scene. So I'm gonna try something here. Oh, really? Okay. Drink that, boom. All right, I'm gonna get started here. Start mixing up some colors and such. This part won't be able to be seen, of course, but you know, it is what it is. Color mixing is pretty simple, you know what I mean? I can answer any questions if people have questions about it, but uh, I'm gonna try to keep this mic good quality and not scratching up against my beard and stuff, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, maybe I can show the colors. Let me let me uh, see if I can just tip this downward. And there's some of them. I don't really want to move this because it takes it took me a minute to set it up. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's good to see everyone here. I'm just doing some painting. A sunset scene if you're just now tuning in. Um, 
So yeah. I still haven't figured out the best setup, so this is kind of, everything's kind of in my way. But uh, I'll get it figured out eventually. All right, so now some dried paint there. What the heck? Too light, too light. I'm trying to work quick. I got I only got about two hours, so I, I should be able to bang this out in no time anyway. But um I just want to get start start painting. Basically. Um, I'll probably flash up the uh, reference photo shortly here if I can do that. Um, I know how to do it, but so we'll see. We'll see what's what's happening. And um, not a very good shot there, but anyway, I'm going to be done with this in a second. I'll, I'll show it back up on the canvas. Um, there's just some few more colors, not not much. It's a dark color to get. And it's a sunset scene, so it's it's pretty simple and like the values. I mean, there's a little, it's complicated a little bit, but it, it's you know overall there's not a lot of colors going on. It's a pretty simple scene. Last night's sunset it was pretty epic, and I I couldn't really get the best photos. I only had my 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 iPhone on me which takes great photos, but um, you know, having a, a real camera, my DSLR would have been better. But uh, it was the perfect time of the sunset. I didn't have time to go back to my house for five minutes both ways and, and get the camera. So I had to make do with what I could. And I knew eventually I would be doing a painting. I just didn't know it would be today right now, so. I'll probably get this painting done and then if anybody wants like critique or whatever or just want to talk or ask me questions whatever so it's probably close enough ah, ah. my cat's messing with everything All right, let's get let's get to it. Um, what else do I need? Ah, the cloud colors. Where'd I put my knife? Here we go. Cloud colors. It's a lot of gray. And white. It's a lot of purples and reds, and grays. All right, you guys can't even see the colors anyway, so I'm just gonna move this back up for now. So that's the canvas. I'm about to start painting soon anyway, so. Just wiping my knife off. Anybody else tuning? Yeah, I'm using a reference photo. Let me, um, I'll show you guys. Sorry, I'm just tuning into the chat now. I am from Southern Mississippi. Born and raised there for 15 years. Um, then I moved to Delaware for 10 years, and now I'm in California for two or three years. So 
Do I ever use acrylic? Which do I prefer? I used to use acrylic for about three or four years. I switched to oils and uh, just love using oils now. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, just need to get a little red, grayed down red color here and um, I'll be ready to go in just a second. So I'm trying. I'm going to try to just get like the general idea of this uh, sunset scene. Let me let me flash up the reference photo. It's not really a great photo. I actually have to use like two or three different photos because just the way the camera is. But let me throw this on here if I can do that. Um, one second, guys, one second. Move to the top. Did it work? It's not working. Okay, let me try again. There we go. That's the uh, reference photo. I'm gonna be, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna zoom in a lot closer on it. Um, I'm not gonna have it this small, like a lot of the clouds will be like the main focus. And uh, so I'm just gonna take a small section of this photo, but it'll kind of be like, you know, you, you'll see how I'm gonna crop this thing. But uh, anyway, that's the reference photo, let me, uh, Get rid of that now or uh, make it smaller, whatever. I'm still getting used to using the streaming stuff, so just bear, bear with me, guys. So it's going to be cropped and stuff, but anyway, that is my reference photo, basically. Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in once again. Sorry, it was kind of just random timing here. Uh, I would like to schedule them, but uh, it's, it's these this few weeks are kind of tough because uh, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day I'm going on another work trip. I just got back from a work trip on Saturday and Sunday. So like I'm just doing a lot of traveling and the next week I'm going on another work trip. So I got a lot of stuff going on and it's just hard for me to, I can't, I, I have no idea when I'm going to be able to do these streams. I thought it was going to be a few weeks before I could do them again, but I got about a two hour window right now. So I'm just going to bang this out for you guys. Um, so basically, sorry, this webcam is kind of crappy, but that's all I got. So uh, I'm just figuring things out. So that'll be like the horizon line. And then there's kind of a little bit of, there's some hills back here that are probably about this big. And I can just design them how I want, basically. Um, but, you know, my focus is more on the sky and these clouds coming across. Um, we had some crazy storms here the last few days. So this was like the end of the clouds coming through last night. And it was a sunset and I was like, this is perfect timing. I'm going to go take a photo and uh, do some painting, uh, but check it out. Um, there's some trees down here that are really dark. So I can just throw these in wherever. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Something like that, and then uh, the clouds coming across. I might have to zoom in on my photo here. Cause I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm getting in a lot closer than you guys are seeing it. And the clouds are basically up here. It's pretty straight across the bottom and stuff, but uh, you know, a little bit of interest going on. And the clouds are kind of going off this way. So they're kind of jagged. And that's about it, you know, something like that. I don't know, dude. I just make this crap up. I don't know how to paint, man. You know what I mean? 
know what I mean? Yeah, hit the sky first, yep, pretty much. I, really, I can start anywhere on this thing. It, it doesn't really matter. You know, people think like, oh, you have to start here, or you have to start here. I already mixed up all the colors I'm going to use, so I already have the range. I already have it all planned out, basically. It's just, it comes down to did I mix the colors up correctly, which I, there's a really big chance I didn't mix any of this up correctly. But uh, we'll see what happens. I was kind of going quick because I, I want to get started. Yeah, no happy trees really. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of happy trees. <laughs> All right, let me get started here. Let me stop screwing around. Um, let's see, what's the easiest part to hit? Basically, the sky is kind of. I missed. I missed some colors in the sky actually, but uh, sorry. I need to open up another photo reference actually, just so I can get the clouds correct. That's that's my main thing here. These clouds. And I really want to get these right. Because that photo is kind of, it's a little bit wrong. Um, but uh, it'll, it'll do. But I have a few others that are a little more correct. It's two, 15. Just hang in, hang in here, folks. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right. Oh. Start up here. Starting to look a little strange. This part of the sky, it's kind of like transitioning from like the really bright orange and yellow to like the blue. So it's kind of, it gets a little green looking, but uh, you know, it's it can be pretty beautiful. Uh, I got the color a little weird right now, but it, it'll it'll work for now. I might have to go back and like touch it up and stuff, but uh, I'm not that worried about it. It's gonna look pretty rough in the beginning anyway. Oh crap, you guys are getting a glare. Hold on. I think that's better. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I'm going to go with the dark. It's it's kind of it's easy to start out like getting the darkest thing in cuz then I I kind of know where I'm going then from there. And the darkest thing are these trees. And they're not even black. They're not even completely dark. There's nothing in this painting that's like completely really black, really dark. And uh but they're like a dark green. So I mean, it's going to look like black and stuff, but it's not really. I'm trying to hold this mic the right way. Make sure Anyway, something like that. Boom, son. Killing it. Killing it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a better setup for streaming here shortly. I got to figure out like a real good mic that I can just set somewhere, you know, like in front of me. 
out of the way because this thing isn't really working but um it works right now and i need to figure out this whole i got this webcam on a tripod so it's just all i got a ghetto set up right now well all right this painting looks totally weird right now i'm gonna keep going though. i'm gonna keep going uh, get down to the ready oranges that'll pull this thing together you guys will see where I'm going with it then that looks better huh I need more paint put this stuff on thick man and I'll kind of blend that up here so that Like I said, I might have to fix this part, but I don't worry about it, you know what I mean? Life's too short to be worrying all the time. Throwing this down, son. You should have seen this thing in person last night, man. It, it was this hill in the background was just so such a cool blue. I mean, it was epic, really epic. And um, the the clouds, I mean, it was unbelievable. Oh, crap! I just got paint on my laptop. First world problems, man. Wasn't paying attention. All right. So we got the sky in. And i um, going to go for this hill. And even though it looked really cool blue, I know that it's not really... A super strong blue it was just dark it was dark blue so it had it just looked really strong um, but there's also some lightness and you know as it goes toward the bottom but uh, but just it, it just looks so bright blue because of that the orange sky it just it comes across and also the atmospheric perspective. What you know about that, man? You know what I mean? So now I can cut into some of these trees. And also as it goes down, it lightens up a bit, like down here. So I just add a little touch of white and it, you know, your eye will pick up on that. It's, it's really sensitive. May not be able to see it with this webcam, but... Uh, you know, something like that, and then almost done here. You know, and some of this I can soften it up, you know, to kind of show that the sun is, is, the light is coming over it. And... Who is calling me? It's the second call in a row from Texas. Who? I don't know anybody in Texas. Why are people calling me from Texas? Hmm. Weird. All right, man. Let's see. Let's get this grass in here. Green grass. Warm green. It's a little dark. You know, I should probably get them clouds in there and stuff, but uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. <laughs> I just intuitively, I just do what feels right to me. There's no, the, there's not much method to this. It's like, it's like, oh, that green looks nice. Let me, let me jump into that. You know what I mean? Throw this on here, and. 
you, know, you can add little variations here and there. You know, I can lighten it up just a little bit, warm it up. You know, warming it up is probably going to do more than lightening, lighting it up. Um, so you know, I'm creating like the bottoms of these trees. And I can darken it as it just comes back toward us. And is that looking all right, guys? It's getting somewhere. You know, this is just like the first, this is the first step in this thing, is just getting these, these masses of color in. And then, you know, I can play, once I get all this in, then I can play around with it. You know, I can add another layer of trees over here. You know, guide your eye through. There's a lot I can do here. Um, so it's just getting this the basics in. So now I know I'm going to need like a purple, a light grayish purple. More on the red side. A, a little bit. And... And also, I'm going to get the very bright. There was the brightest part was right under here, and that was where the sun was just kind of beaming through. But uh, I'm going to try to get these cloud clouds in here, and it's much warmer. Um, see, this is the trickiest part. That's kind of why I saved it till last. I think subconsciously, but. Uh, this is the part I need to get right, so it was kind of good that I saved it because now I can compare it to everything else. And I think I need more white. Actually, I think this is going to work. You know, there's some cooler areas in there, there's some warmer areas, there's lighter areas. This actually may be too dark, I'm not sure. I got, I'd have to step back and look at it. But this, this cloud is going to be lined with like really bright red yeah, uh, oranges and uh, you know that's really the focal point of this so I gotta get this to come across correctly just slowly building it up slowly getting to it um, what's going on everybody thanks for joining in Yeah, my easel's really wobbly because uh, I have it on a tripod and it's it's kind of crappy, I guess. I'll try to hold it still when I paint. Yeah, this is a live stream. Live stream, so. You know, I'm still working on figuring out the best setup and everything, but uh, it's getting close. It's getting close. I'm just working with what I have. Trying to hold this still. Okay, some of the clouds. This is where sunsets become difficult because you can either, you know, it, it's tough balancing uh, the value, like getting it really light, but then you're losing the powerful colors you need. So it, it's like, which one do you do? Do you keep it darker? Do you go really light and then you don't have the, the really saturated colors you want? You know, it's, it's tough figuring that out. And... Uh, you know, it's something I still work at and try to figure out, but for the most part, I'm getting kind of used to it. Um, I've done a few sunsets now, and you, know, you just kind of 
it's just something you work at. They're not always going to be good, you know what I mean? This this painting might not be any good, but that's a risk I'm taking doing it live, and and uh, I th I think people will still learn and appreciate the process, even if it doesn't come out good. People will see, okay, you know, I can see where it went wrong, or I can explain where it went wrong and why maybe I can't fix it or what's going on with it. And see, these clouds are too dark because they're almost the same value as this hill. So I definitely need to lighten up some of the purpley grays and uh, also lighten up part of the sky here in a second, which you will see. And create some kind of like disconnected cloud shapes, soft, softer kind of cloud shapes. So now it's getting close. See, it just it, you got to just slowly work this. You know, you're not going to get it done in 20 minutes. It's like it's just a slow build up. So what you want to get to, but I, I, I basically I where this sunset is. It's like four minutes from my house. So like I've done plain air there a few times. I've painted this sunset a few times. I've gone and watched the sunset and then came back and painted right at my house uh, after watching it for 20 minutes. So like I, I kind of know what to look for and what colors it's going to be and what to do with it, like what I'm doing. But um, it can still be a struggle sometimes. See, and getting this light in here is what I want. And I can have a little bit of that coming up. But at this point in time, I think the sun was already set. It was kind of just really blaring up from behind the uh, the hill. But with this, I can make it look like it's, you know, behind the cloud kind of. But I can blend this down if I want and make this really bright. But yeah, maybe it was behind the cloud. I don't really, I don't really know. Some photos look like it was behind the clouds, and some look like it's behind the hill. So I can just paint it both ways, really. So just imagine you were seeing this on a better camera. You know what I mean? Like on a good camera, it would actually look better. Than what it is right now, but I'll show you. I'll show it to you guys here on my uh, laptop camera. That that one seems to be a little bit better. The camera that's on me, I just can't use that one to sh to show you guys because it's so far away from everything. Um, let's see, I'm gonna. What else can I do to this? To Bring it up to the next level here. Oh yeah, I wanted to lighten up those clouds, right? See if I can get that done. In some areas I want it lighter. Clouds can be, they're kind of like translucent, you know, so you're going to be lighter in some areas. Sorry, my easel's shaking again. You got to remember that. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it, you know. But now if I wanted, I could I could keep pushing this a little further. 
See, I have some red right along the bottom here. I can really heighten that, I think, by throwing in some really red orange in there. Or some really saturated colors. You know, I can keep pushing it a little bit to get like that pink, you know, that, that sunset pink in there. There we go. Don't want to overdo it, but looks interesting. All right, let's see what are what's everybody saying here. Hello everyone. No, it's not a tiny piece of paper. It's a six by six canvas panel. The light source is right in the middle of the painting, basically. It's just, it's like a back, backlit scene. It's a sunset, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, not every live painting is going to be epic, you know what I mean? I just taking a risk, showing you guys my process and, and seeing. You know, I could probably tweak the upper sky a little bit and make it more yellow. It's a little bit dirty. I could clean it up a little bit. Um, so, I mean, it's not bad for 20 minutes of painting, you know, just throwing it on there really quickly. I mean, it... it came together pretty quickly but um yeah you guys aren't really seeing a great um the coloring is just a little off with this this webcam but uh you know it, it is what it is all right and i used one brush this whole time so you know what i mean there's a lot you can do with one brush it's just getting used to it and uh you know pushing your your boundaries, your limits with it. So I'm just going to start adding some like small variation here and there. Trying to make it a little more interesting, I guess. Not that it's not interesting, but I don't know. Didn't want to do that. Um, you know, and this may not be the most interesting composition. I mean, you, you know, it just depends. Um, I'm going to clean up these cloud, this, this cloud. There's something about it I just don't like. I think it's just too fat on this side. So I'm gonna hit some of the sky color that I already uh, messed up because I started mixing other color into it. But I'm just gonna like shape this a little better. And, cause the clouds actually, it's a little flatter on the bottom than on the top it looks like. It's kind of like this zigzaggy thing. All the clouds were just you know, coming in, going that way. So there's a lot of movement in them, but you know, all this should be pretty flat along here for the most part. So now I'm just kind of like refining shapes and stuff and actually paying attention to what I'm doing. But I mean, this is like, this is not bad for like a little study, you know. Um, yeah, see, that's better. Because now there's more contrast between the hill and this cloud. 
That's what I wanted. So yeah, let's let's work on the sky a little bit, I guess. Um, sorry, when I'm mixing the color here, my easel is going to shake again. But uh, you know, so let's. Yeah, this color is a little bit cleaner. And now I'm kind of just putting it on more carefully than at the beginning. The beginning is just, you know, getting, uh, I mean, you can get it right the first time. There's no doubt about that. But something small like this and just a study, I'm just trying to get my bearings at the beginning and seeing if my color mixtures are, are were good enough. So it kind of goes up to blue up there a little bit, but um, it's not really my focus of the painting to get that correct. So it's not it's not bad. I still want to make the cloud shapes a little bit more interesting along the top. Um, it's still it's still kind of it's too flat on the top almost, but uh, yeah, we'll see. That's kind of how the clouds were so. But I, th I think what the problem here is, it's the same height as the hill, and that's not how the reference is. They were a lot thinner, but, um, you know, see, it's just working this, uh, you know, I probably would have zoomed in a little bit more because I, I wanted the clouds to be the focal point, but uh, it's just figuring this out. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. All 22 of you. Hopefully you're learning something. I don't really know if I'm like teaching anything. I'm not really teaching anything. I'm just going through what I'm thinking and like my process, like how I would approach this. And how I am approaching it because I'm painting this live. Okay, I still have plenty of time. I got, I got about an hour and 20 minutes or hour and 40 minutes or something. So I can take my time here. I don't want to don't have to rush and also I can make some sharp edges here you know there's some sharp ones in here uh, at the top and stuff but really the bottom is what I want lit up And slowly working it again. So now I'm using negative space to my advantage. I'm kind of cutting into these clouds at the top and kind of just working the shape a little bit. But I don't want to be too repetitive even though it is kind of repetitive in real life. So now it's, it's getting a little more interesting. You have these sharp edges here. You know, you can even, I can tone some of those down so that your eye doesn't go to them immediately. 
you know, like the sharpest thing I want is right here, the lightest thing, the that streak of red right there, the saturation, and the sharpest edge. So that's where your eye is gonna like first go to, and that's that's my that's my statement that I want to make. Right there. Up here I can have sharp edges, but I don't want them to be as sharp as this. Um, there's other edges in the painting, but they're not going to be. As I don't want them to be as sharp as that. Um, you know, just how there's like a value scale. I don't know if anybody's ever mentioned it like this or ever thought about it. But just how there's like a light. You know, this is the lightest thing. This is the darkest area, and everything everything else in the painting is in between those two. It's the same thing with edges. Like these edges are really soft. Soft edge, soft edge, soft, soft. Then it gets to a hard edge, hardest edge right there. So like when you have like the softest edge and the hardest edge, all the other edges will be in between those. So there's kind of like a, a gradation of values, a gradation of color, and a gradation of edges. So it's kind of interesting to think about it that way. Nobody can hear me? Can anybody, anybody hear me? What happened? So, it's kind of interesting to think about it that way. I don't know. The sound's still going. Okay. Hey, Ed, thanks for the question. Are you advertising these live sessions in advance or just spur of the moment for you? Um, right now, this one is spur of the moment. I would like to plan some in advance. But um, right now, I don't know when the next one will be. I just don't have any planned. Uh, you can check out my website. It's brandon-shafer.com. If you scroll away to the bottom, you'll see like a big bar across the bottom. And it'll be, it says live stream schedule. And that's where I'll post like dates and stuff. But right now, uh, there's no scheduled dates. So today is just spur of the moment. I had time. I had a real narrow window that I could film and do this. So I was like, I'm going to take advantage. I'm going to do it. So yeah, unfortunately I'd like to plan these in advance and, and give people, you know, maybe on the weekend I can do them and uh, plan them in advance. I'd like to do them when uh, the majority of people have like free time and, and can sit back and enjoy. But um, these are recorded so you can check them out on my YouTube afterwards. I know they're a little boring, you know, to do that. But uh, anyway, you know, I kind of like this painting. It's too, it feels too saturated for me. You know, the, the sky seems really bright, but I, I it is, it is bright in, real, in reality. But um, I think the sky, the sky, like this orange and this up here, I feel like it should just be grayed down a little bit and it would really make the cloud, this, this saturation on the clouds pop a little bit more. But, um, you know, I don't mind the direction it's going in. It's just different. It's just different than, uh, you know, that's how it goes. So... Yeah, foreground darker too. Yeah, you know, maybe a little bit. I could make it darker a little bit. Um, that would simplify the value. You know, probably the dark, the foreground probably is a little bit darker in, in reality, actually, now that I'm looking at it. So thanks for pointing that out. But yeah, yeah, it probably would. Let me do that. You know, I was doing that earlier and then it, it just got distracted. Yeah, darkening, darkening this just a bit. You know, some areas is actually, there is some light kind of shining on it. It's kind of like, it's reflected light really. Um, you know, all of this, all of this is in shadow in reality. Because the sun is actually like, it's either behind the clouds or behind the, the hill there. And everything is in shadow. Well, if you think about shadow, like if you go in a room 
at night with the lights off, or if you're in the middle of the forest, in the middle of Oregon, or in the middle of nowhere, and there's no civilization, it's going to be completely dark. You know what I mean? And uh, the only reason that we can see any of this color, can see any of this, is because of reflected light. You know, the light is going around everything. It's bouncing off of everything. So really, you know, that, that's the uh, beauty of of this because all of this is in shadow and the only reason we can see it is reflected light so yeah I think this is a little bit better darkening that a bit yeah it kind of it kind of unifies this unit a little bit you know I could probably darken that hill just a little bit it probably won't hurt it um, but uh Yeah, just depends. I'm gonna. I'm just working with some edges right here, right now. Um, just softening them a little bit. You know, it's weird with this camera because the painting is actually a little darker than it looks on the screen. There, this is actually like one of the darkest areas, these trees, and they don't look very dark on the screen, but uh, like I said, I'll show you guys a better view uh, at the end here, if you're still around to see it, but uh, you'll see the colors just a little bit differently. Just creating some interest there. Ah, don't want to mess it up though. Whatever. All right. Yeah, that helped a little bit. That, that did help. I mean, it's still a little too saturated, but it's interesting. You know, I don't, I don't mind it. I've just been really sensitive to like the neutral gray colors, and I really like, I really enjoy. Uh, like grays and, and getting the colorful grays. So when I see something really bright colors, like, um, you know, reserving your the, the color and how powerful you can make it, it's really easy to like paint in bright colors all the time and make it really powerful looking. But reserving your color, it, that's, that's the tough thing, you know what I mean? And that's what kind of what I work to do is kind of like reserve my color um, you know, it's just something that's it's it's interesting to do. Let's bring a little bit more darkness in this, and also less saturated. It's still pretty blue, it's still pretty powerful. So this is a Californian sunset, pretty much. Took this reference photo last night, just last night. So I'm just playing around with the hills now, just. Yeah, I don't like how it just goes straight like that. Um, there's definitely more little hills in it and stuff. There's more variation. Like that. Oh. Let me check the chat again here, guys. See if I miss any questions or anything. Yes, it's oil painting. Yeah, sim simplifying the values, yep. You know, when you look at like Sargent's work and a lot of great artists, you know, that if when you look at it, you can tell that they, um, they kind of simplified the values. Like 
if you go outside and look at nature, like there's a ton of like reflected light and stuff. But if, if you squint down at it, you can see that that's like how they, they um, like simplified it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting to play around with and just look at it. And, uh, you know, simplifying things can really like unify the painting in a way. Um, I, I try to like preserve some of the reflected lights and stuff because I, I think it's interesting. I think there's a lot of color in there and if you if you like oversimplify it can just it can be boring sometimes I think but uh, every every scene is different it just depends all right I'm just I'm just taking a break here guys I'm just looking at it or uh, you know trying to look at it a little differently take my eyes off it for a minute so I can just look at it um, a little more fresher. Hey, what's going on, Chelsea? Good to see you in here. Glad you made it. Sorry it wasn't scheduled. No, I don't use any quick dry oils or anything. I've never, never tried them. Mine, they dry really quickly anyway. My The way I paint and stuff, I don't use any mediums. I just use um, Gamsol, which is odorless mineral spirits, and I use paint, and that's it. A dry, this will be dry, this will be touch dry in uh, between 24 and 48 hours. It'll be touch dry. Yeah, the composition, it's it's interesting. Looking at it now, I don't know if I like the composition, actually. I feel like I should have cropped it a little lower. And because right now the clouds are going straight across the middle. You know, it cut the painting in half. See, that's it's things like that that I, I miss. I was, I was in a rush to start this, and I just started painting before I, um, I thought, of, I really thought about the composition. And it happens, you know what I mean? Um, so really pushing this down to where it's like one third, it only takes this whole, this whole scene only takes up one third of the painting, maybe. And having the rest like blend into more blue sky and stuff, it might have been inter more interesting. But, uh, you know, you can't win them all, you know what I mean? I mean, you could, you just can't rush into it like I did because I, I wanted to get this stream going I only had limited time so I uh, I got right into it but yeah composition man it's, it takes a long time to get figure out oh damn it to figure out what is good what looks pleasing and how to do it and you know, it just takes time, you know. I do a lot of photography sometimes. I do graphic design. I just, I jump from different things, different interests, and it uh, helps me to get a fresh look on everything, new ideas. But, uh, yeah, this may not be, like, the most interesting composition. But, I mean, yeah, I could play around with the cloud line and stuff, but I don't really want to jump into it that that much. Um, you know, I, I don't want to alter that mu that much. I'm going from a photo reference, so you know it could be tricky getting the clouds to look right if I did that. Um, but this is kind of just a little study of the day of yesterday, so I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with it. I just know that I could have made it a little better, so. Yeah, Chelsea, I'll have, um, if you check out my website, brandon-shafer.com, like at the bottom of my website on every page, I'll have the live stream schedule. But right now, there's no scheduled dates. So um, this was just a random time. And uh, Enamored Studios, yeah, I don't, there's no linseed oil or anything. It's just paint thinner at the in the beginning stages and then just using paint right out of the tube. 
Um, you know, I had, there's a whole misconception with like oils and how to use them. Like there's so many different ways to use them. Like some people use mediums and all this stuff. And uh, that's one thing that like stopped me from using oils because like you don't have to use mediums and stuff. And everybody gets so obsessed with the lean over f or fat over lean and all this stuff. They get, oh my God, you, you'll lose your life reading about it on the internet and different forums and stuff. Uh, you'll lose a lot of time and you don't even have to worry about it. Like if I let this painting dry for two days, I could go right over it with more paint and stuff. It's not, it's just, <laughs> you know, you don't have to worry about it that much. But, um, yeah, it's not a horrible composition. Like th there are interesting parts to it. Um, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, everything is kind of a different height. You know, you have this skinny part in here, you have this fatter part, um, and then the clouds. So like, things are different heights, but at the same time, it's almost like four sections of the same height. So in that way, it's it's a little boring, but it's, in, it's, it's, it's interesting. There, there's no right or wrong to composition. It's just, um, That's a good idea, Dan. Um, you know, doing like a vignette, like darkening this up here, and that'll bring the focus down. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I might try that in a minute. Um, yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Belinda said it as well. Yeah. You guys are on it, man. Did you, or are you currently going to art school? Um, I went to uh, school for graphic design. I didn't really go for like painting and stuff. I did like one, I had like one class where we did like a painting or two. I had a drawing class, but everything else was kind of like graphics, graphic design and stuff. And uh, I'm done with school. I'm done with school forever. I'm never going to school again. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about the the foreground because that's not my focus. I don't want a lot of detail there. And um, this is out in the middle of a field where uh, a farming field. There's not gonna be many rocks or anything. And putting like a blade of grass up there, yeah, that's that would that would kill this painting. I think this is like a small. This is loose. This is this is a. You know, this is my focal area right here. If I like started putting little blades of grass, too much, too much for me. That that would that would kill it for me, um, personally. But you know what? You can. I mean, there's there's no right or wrong. Like I could do that and see how that would work. But I already know that I wouldn't. That wouldn't satisfy me. I don't think. I've tried that before, and it just it didn't work for me. You know. Let me try and darken this. Um, Yeah, see the photo reference is a little off. Like I, I'm not, I, I really cropped in on that photo reference. Like I'm painting like one tiny little square in that photo reference. Um, I really zoomed in. Uh, so. Yeah, I kind of I kind of like this this bring a little more focus. And I, I kind of want to gradually darken it. I don't want to go too dark too quick. So I'm just going to take my time with it. It's probably hard to even see that, but I, I can see it pretty well. Um, let's try a little bit. Let's go a little bit darker.
Uh, oh yeah, Namor Studios. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. You know, don't worry about don't worry about what I'm saying. But uh, for me, I, I I have a graphic design job. That's like my day job. Um, you know, I would love painting in California once I found a job and a girlfriend. So all in the same shot. You know what I mean? So everything just came together perfectly uh, for me so far, anyway. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. I mean, it looks it looks better. I think I'm getting I'm getting somewhere. Thanks to you guys. I'm not a freaking real painter. You know what I mean? Sorry, my hand's in the way that whole time. Just now seeing that, but I'm right-handed. What are you going to do? The setup's kind of crappy. I need, I'm going to really fix it up next time for my... my uh... Am I from Central CA? No, I live in Davis, Davis, California. It's, it's right on the outside of the Bay Area, basically. I got to keep up with the time, guys. What time is it? Let's see. 3.05. Okay, I got about hour and 15 minutes. So, hey, no problem, Dan. I appreciate, um, I appreciate that you appreciate this. this is... Yeah, I mean, every painting is like a struggle, you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes it doesn't have to be. But there are, you have to... Sometimes you have to quit for a day and think about it, look at it, and go, man, is this painting even worth saving? Some, sometimes it isn't. Um, I think I need some warmer clouds. So I'm going to throw those in here and see if that affects anything. Some lighter, some warmer clouds, especially right in the middle here. On the top, maybe. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Get some more interesting shapes. Oh, messed up that light area. See, take risks, man. You got to be willing to take a risk and and really uh, screw up the whole painting. That's how you're going to get good paintings. You got to be you got to be willing to screw up the whole thing right in the last second. It's going to happen, you know. Sometimes it happens. And, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Can't cry about it. You just got to try to fix it back up and you'll probably get something better anyway. Taking those risks, taking those risks. I need some more white paint because I need to fix that light area again. Just bear with me here for a second. Let's see you. What are you folks saying? My girlfriend just texted me, what's for dinner? I have no idea, man. What is, what is for dinner? What should I eat for dinner? Oh man, I got paint on my clothes, man. Not even using my painting clothes. Don't don't be like me, kids. Go to stay in school. Stay in school, learn some things, you know. Learn how to put an apron on. I got an apron right across the room and I'm not even using it. It's 
stupid. All right. Let's fix up this light area. Aw, oh, man. The brush was dirty, dude. That's my thinking process. I just complain about everything. <laughs> All right, let's see. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. Boom. We're there. Color mixing so difficult. Hey Jersey girl, yeah, I got your email. I will respond. I will respond. Um, I will reply to your email or I could do it right now. I could do it in this live stream if you wanna know. Oh yeah, you grew up in Fresno? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've driven through there a few times just going to LA and stuff. I've never, um, never been there actually, like stopped, you know? Naked painting? Yeah, I mean, that would, that would get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> uh. And I'm sure all my male viewers would tune out except for a few. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it in a few minutes. Just give me a give me a few minutes. Do you want me to show put them on the screen so that people can see what I'm like critiquing? I don't know if you want other people to see your work. Just let me know. I, I'll I'll put them up if you don't mind. That way, I'm not just like doing a random critique. Some people don't know what I'm what they're seeing. But uh, just let me know if that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, I probably it probably you can't really get naked on YouTube, I don't think. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'll I'll do a critique in just a second. Let me um let me finish up this uh ridiculous painting I'm doing here. And uh screwing screwing up the whole painting right at the last second. And um, then I'll do do a critique, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. Um, I keep messing with it. I'm just gonna keep screwing it up even further. I still think the clouds should be lighter, probably. Yeah, if I paint a topless, everyone would tell me to put a shirt on. Trust me. <laughs> uh, I saw a YouTube video of a guy who painted with his shirt off, and everybody just made like really shitty comments. Like, oh, you can't even put a shirt on, blah, blah. And I was just, I felt bad for the guy. I mean, Dude, relax. He just has his shirt off. It's not that big a deal. I'm trying to get more viewers, not less, you know. Uh, let's see. Interesting conversation going on today, guys. <laughs> Fuck. This will be a great this will be a great replay. <laughs> for people to watch. Uh, let's see. Man, why is this not getting lighter, dude? 
I cannot get this lighter. There we go. All right. You guys are getting glare now. There's a lot of glare on the painting. All right, let's 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 uh, end this. I, I think it's it's good enough for me. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, if you guys want to critique critique my work now, um, so. I'll, I'll show a better. Let, let me let me fix a few things. I'll sh let me get rid of this webcam, this crappy webcam. Um, that way you guys can see the real color. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, I'm growing. Okay. Let's get rid of this image. Boom. All right. Okay, give me a second. I gotta figure this out. I got cords in front of me and crap. I got tripods. Everything everywhere, all right. taking my painting off oh oh got more paint on my clothes man all right here here's like better colors let, let me see if I can get the light in a good spot which I can't whoa whoa there we go there you go, guys. It's okay. It's not the best. Not the best clouds that I've done. Although you guys are getting a lot of glare. Yeah, it's really hard to get that. Get the right colors for you guys. Anyway, you get the idea. Everything's backwards. There you go. You see that angle. And you see that angle. There you go. Okay. Now my hands are off. Paint all over them. All right, I'm gonna do a critique here. Just one second, I gotta clean my hands off. Okay. Um, you guys are too nice to me. You gotta be like, that thing sucks. You could have done way better. Your colors suck. All right. Just got to find your email real quick. I got it right here anyway. So for people that weren't tuned in last time, I freaking... Um, just a few days ago, I went up through Oregon and Washington, drove all the way... It was ridiculous, man. I went, and one day we drove all the way to Bend, Oregon, which is about nine, eight or nine hours from here. And then that night drove to Eugene, then out to Coos Bay on the coast the next day. And then the day after that, drove all the way up to Seattle and then drove all the way back down to Sacramento in three days. So it was 
brutal, brutal, brutal. And now here I am, streaming, live streaming. Okay, I think I got the photo saved. Let's put this thing on here. And not tomorrow, but the next day I'm going down to LA for two days. And then the next week I'm going back up to Oregon, back up to Seattle. And then I should have a week off, I think, where I could do some live streaming. Maybe I'll have some live streaming planned then, like the week of the two weeks from now. I'll let you guys know, though. Ah, why is it? Bear with me. So these are the paintings. Let me get my head in here. Yeah, the problem is I won't have time to do any videos in LA. It's all work from sun up to sundown. Yeah, the turkey video was epic. The one I just did, that was pretty cool. I'm trying to do more of that, like, you know, throughout my day, just little interesting things that I see. Just film them for like 10 seconds, you know. So check out my latest video, you guys, if you haven't. It's pretty cool. Okay. So looking at these paintings, I like them. I will say that. Let's zoom in on one of them. You know what I mean? Let's start out like that. So um, this painting, I like it. The, um, the colors are cool. The green, you have some green variations. And you also have, it's a complementary color scheme. You have the green with the red oranges. That's cool. I really like that. Um, you know, the only thing, I think this is acrylics, right? Um, most likely is going to be acrylics. And, um, all right, let me, let, me, let me channel my thoughts here. What am I trying to say? Yeah, the only like problem that I see with it are um, the edges, which is really tough with acrylics. Edges are really tough with acrylics. Um, if you can look, uh, you guys can't see my mouse, but if you look at the flower petals, for example, and the ones really in like the top right of the painting or just along the top, the edges are like super crisp uh, with the background. If you soften just parts of that, you know, like one side of that, the shadowy side of the flower petal. Um, it would just, it would just give it a little, little bit more, and it makes, it makes a big difference. I will say that. Um, but overall, this is a good effort. I mean, it's there's nothing. Uh, you know, you can tell it's a butterfly. Um, you know, the the values are pretty, pretty close. I would say. Um, you know, maybe having some darker areas in there just to bring more attention to like the flower and also the butterfly. And maybe maybe actually having a little more variation in the butterfly's wings. Um, just very slight, very slight variation. And what I mean by that is like, instead of just that yellowy, kind of like yellow orange, if like just around the edges, um, you know, or just some panels having them like with just a little more red in them, just so that they're a little more orange. Um, now I'm not saying like change the, the whole butterfly and like the anatomy of the butterfly or how the butterfly actually is, but just giving a little more variation um, to, to get the eye moving a little bit and adding a little more vibration to that and just soft, softening some edges, real subtle things, really subtle things. Um, 
you know, like in the center of the flower, like that yellow, you can see that you softened some of that yellow to where it looks like little hairs, like on the, the center of that flower. If you did that along the petals, just not everywhere. You don't want to do it everywhere. It's like, it's a really subtle thing. But, um, you know, if you're looking at that painting, I just did like those clouds, like how I just softened some parts of those. And, um, you know, that's, that's the major thing here that I see. Like even, like looking at your background, you have like this modeled, modeled background, like really soft edges, like in the transitions. Like if you did that to the flower petals, um, when they're, when they're against the background, um, just softening a little bit of areas in there. I mean, that's about it. I mean, yeah, a little more variation on the petals probably. I mean, there's probably other people telling you um, things in the chat here. But yeah, it's a great, great painting. I mean, the colors are, are epic. I mean, uh, it's a classic, you know, red and green color scheme. I mean, there's, you have a lot of good detail going on, but you didn't get too detailed. You know what I mean? Like, like the little spots on the, on the, the butterfly and stuff and on the leaves, like you have a little bit of veins on the leaves and stuff, you know, that may be pushing it a little too far, but, um, not really. I mean, it, it's up to you, but you almost have, you, you almost have more detail in the leaves than you do like the petals of the flower. Um, I know there's not much detail in the petals of the flower to begin with. You know, they're, they're just a solid color, kind of a great gradation, but, um, yeah, it's just, you know, getting, working with those edges and getting them slightly softened and, um, you know, you'll be in business here. It's just, it's just, you know, it's, it's those subtle things that kind of just push it that last 10%, the last 5% of the painting and, and bring it home, you know? Um, so I hope, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, just let, let me know. Um, if you want me to touch on anything specific, uh, I can do that. So I hope I, I kind of, uh, helped you out a little bit. Yeah, I think the color is great. A lot of the color, a lot of good color. And maybe a little bit more variation in the center of the flower because you kind of have just, you know, bright yellow there. And in nature, it, it probably is a little bit different. It probably gets, it could get darker toward the center or it could get darker toward the edges. Um, depends on the type of flower, things like that. Depends on the photo reference you're using, the light source, all that stuff. It, it just depends. But, um, yeah, with acrylics, like I said, it's going to be difficult with acrylics, getting those soft edges with acrylics. It's, it can be challenging. You kind of have to use like a dry brushing technique. Um, it's hard, either that or you do it wet and wet right when you do it and you have to get it almost perfectly, uh, cause it's going to dry really quick. But, um, yeah, like a dry brush technique, really subtle, like, you know, getting a smaller brush, kind of like the one excuse me, kind of like the one I was using here. This is a number four. If you had like a small brush like this and just a minimal amount of paint on the, on the tip of it, you know, touch into a little bit, bit of that orange on the petals and just dry brush that in, scrub it in. And, um, you know, that, that's something you could try, you know, before you jump onto it and try it on this painting, uh, you may not even want to touch this painting at all. But, um, you know, try it in your future works, like experiment. And if you have any old, old, you know, failed, failed paintings, you know, you can try it out on those and, and just see what, what happens. Um, let's see, do I have time? Yeah, I have about, I have about 50 minutes. So Yeah, or you could use more water and stuff. You know, there's different there's different ways of doing it. It just depends. Let, let's let's go to the other one. I like this one a lot too. The um, the colors are really nice. So here's the other other painting. Is this like a sunset scene, like almost like twilight? Um, 
Yeah, I mean that pink, that pink glow you have here, and the yellows and the reds against like the blue, the cool blues and stuff. I really like that. And um, it looks like you have the moon there, really big moon, or a planet or something. I don't know if this is like a fantasy painting, like something you did out of your head. Um, kind of like a backlit scene almost, because the foreground is really silhouetted. You have like the silhouettes going on in the trees. I like that. Um, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. I think, you know, once again, I, I think edges are the, are the main concern to worry about here. Um, maybe, it, you, you know, a little more, it's hard, it's, it's hard to put my finger on it on this. It's almost like, it almost deals with like color harmony in this one. I feel like the little, the, the moon or the white planet there, um, I, I think that if it, it's it's like it's just gray with no bias in color, you know what I mean? And I think if you push that just a little bit, like warmed it up, like with some yellow or red or oranges, really subtle, really subtle. I'm not talking anything drastic here, but just pushing that to either warm or cool, I think would kind of like it would bring the whole painting together a little bit. Um, just a little bit more. Yeah, like I said, just some of the edges. I mean, you have some really nice soft edges in here, like behind the trees, that pink where it goes into purple a little bit right underneath the, the moon or the planet, whatever that is, um, that, that sphere right under that. I mean, you have some great soft edges. There's a lot of soft edges and things going on here. I think um, just softening parts of like that foreground line where it's kind of like dipping in and stuff, you know, softening just a small part of that. Um, you know, it's all about, it's all about like getting, like, where's your focal point? What do you want to be the focus? Like, where do you want your sharpest edge and your brightest color, your brightest light, the darkest dark, um, things of that nature. So I, I hope, I hope that helps, uh, Yeah, I mean, hard edges, yeah, they, it, it makes, it kind of, it does separate the foreground from the rest. So, like, it is, it, it, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's up to you where you want to soften them, like, what your focal point is. It just depends. It's all, like, a personal choice. But, um, you know, also, you know, uh, let's see, the big tree you have here, like, the big outline of the tree looks very natural. It, it looks good. It looks very natural, I like that. Um, the tree next to it, the little smaller one, like the medium sized one, it almost, it feels very flat to me. And I know it's because it's silhouetted, but it almost, it's, it's like you have a main branch and then all the branches are just coming off like from the sides. It's almost like it's a flat tree. I hope that makes sense. So maybe getting like, you, you know, start looking at trees and just sketching them. That's the best thing to do, like sketch branches and stuff from life. You know, look out your window and see the shapes of trees. This is a great time of year to do it because it's winter. You can have these branches and stuff and try to just focus on getting, you know, a little more natural looking. Um, that's tough. It's, it's hard for me sometimes too. And also the, uh, the small little plants there in the foreground. You have them like equally spaced, equally sized. So maybe just like bunching two of them together and having like more space between them. Something like that, like just mixing it up a little bit, um, creating a little more interest. Uh, you know, and even like on that line, the foreground line, that dark line, if you had a plant, kind of like a bush or something springing up from that, and that would kind of be like this, the area of softening. Um, instead of just having a horizontal line, even though it's up and down, having that line go all the way across, it kind of like, it can prevent you from moving into the painting and moving back into the painting. Um, it, it just depends. Um, but uh, yeah, acrylics can be really, a, it is a struggle. It's definitely a struggle and it's a struggle that I had for three or four years. And it, it takes a lot of practice. It takes, you have to paint really quickly a lot, a lot of the time or use like dry brushing techniques. You, 
you know, with acrylics, with any kind of painting, it's a lot of technique. It's figuring out what's going to work, when to use a lot of water, when to use no water. Um, but these are great efforts. I'm not like, you know, saying these paintings suck or anything. They're definitely great. Uh, a lot of good color going on. A lot of good, I mean, the values are great here. A lot of interesting things happening. It's just pushing, you know, pushing it. What's going to get it to that next level? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I hope this, I hope this helped you in some way, helped anyone out there. But, um, yeah, I know it's, it's hard to work fast. I, I definitely no, that's for sure. It's like with the painting I just did, like with oils, I sat there and I just, you know, I quickly mixed up the colors to begin with, but um, with acrylics, you can't really mix up colors beforehand, so it, it's, uh, it's difficult. It's really difficult. Um, you know, there's no, uh, the, and there's no like easy or like, uh, what am I trying to say? You know, there's no cheat codes for this. You know, it's like, it, it, there, there's no, uh, easy way to do it, you know what I mean? So um, it's just practice and, and getting those techniques down and practicing those and uh, figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And I, you know, I, one, one thing I will say, and maybe you already do this, but you know, at the beginning of your painting, when you start it, try to like use more water because that'll, that'll you know, just a little bit more water. It doesn't have to be dripping wet or anything, but using just a little bit more water will keep the paint wet longer and it'll give you a little bit more time to just start getting everything in place on the canvas. And then as you move on, you know, just use less and less water. Just go straight to paint because then, by then, you'll know what colors you need to use and what mixtures need to go where. Um, so, I hope that helped. So... Yeah, if anybody in the comment in the in the chat can just you know, if you have any other uh, thing to say about these, you know, let her know. So, yeah, you could definitely try using golden golden open acrylics, or I would recommend ordering the open medium. That way, if you want something to dry quick, it will, and if you want a mixture to dry slowly, you just add a little drop, a few drops of this medium, mix it into your mixture and uh, it'll, it'll stay wet longer. And you kind of get like a dynamic range of how wet you want it to stay or how, how quick, you know, how quick you want something to dry. So you can buy a bottle of the Go Golden Open Acrylics Medium. It's like 10 bucks or something on Amazon. Um, I would get the matte medium, but anyway. So there are those paintings. Thank you for uh, letting me uh, critique those and I, I hope it helped in some way. I know acrylics are really tough. It's 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 definitely tougher than than oils for sure, and uh, I know that from experience now. So so anyway, just takes time and practice, just like anything else. You know, like people say, like how do you get good at painting? How do you get good at drawing? Uh, what's the secret formula? You know, there's there's no secret to any of this. It's how much work can you put into it? How much time? excuse me, how much time do you have to put into it and how much, you know, are you willing to do it, put in the effort, put in the work, put in the time and, um, you know, it's tough. Like the first year that I did acrylics, I mean, I did probably close to 200 paintings in all different sizes. I did 16 by 20, 18 by 24s. I did small panels like the one I just did. So it, it all, it all depends. Yeah, no problem, Jersey Girl. Thanks for sending them in. I'm, I'm glad I was able to finally critique those for you. And uh, sorry about the wait, you know. Um, it took a while for me to get, get to those. I've just been so busy. It's been crazy. Yeah, and use a misting bottle. Try that out too. You know, just a slight mist. You know, hold it back. You don't want to put too much water um, in the beginning. Um Give me one second and just got to answer this text. All right. I think someone else sent me 
a critique, so I'm gonna check this out. Although it's not, it doesn't seem to be recognizing the file type. Enamored Studios, um, is this a JPEG? Let me, let me see, let me figure it out. Give me a second. It doesn't have an extension on it, so I, okay, it works. Got it, got it. Oh, this is pretty, this is pretty wicked here. This is interesting. Let me throw it up on the uh, screen here for you guys. Okay, one second, it'll be up, it'll be up. Thanks for your patience, folks. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. Gotta get used to this backwards stuff. I'm looking at myself. So check this painting out. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I gotta make dinner eventually. That'll be in a little while, but I'll be off the stream by then. So I got about 40 more minutes, I think, something, then I gotta get going. But, um, so this is a pelican, if you haven't uh, figured it out by now. This is acrylic. You did this on wood? Is that what that says? I didn't even read your email. Let me, oh, you didn't read any, you didn't write anything. But it says acrylic pelican wood. So that's pretty cool. All right. So let me let me check this out now. Really good rendering of the pelican, I must say. I like the abstractness of the background. It's pretty cool. Like it, you know, it's it's like abstraction versus like reality, you know. Um, I, I try to do that in some of my still lifes and stuff. Like, um, you know, if you check out my latest time lapse or uh, one before that, like still life. I kind of have like the sheet and I just make it like really brush strokey and really loose. And then I have like the objects kind of more detailed, more finished. And that's what, that's what this reminds me of. Um, you know, the background, you kind of just went loose with it and had some drips and stuff going on, a lot of interesting things. And um, and um, Sorry, I'm reading the chat here. And uh, yeah, like the water, you have like a subtle, a subtle hint of water, and then it, but it's it's almost like the water's transparent. It's kind of cool. It's pretty interesting. Um, you know, maybe this is nitpicking because I think it's 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 a great piece. It's kind of interesting. Um, Maybe at the bottom of the pelican, like right where the water is, right where that water line is, making that like more opaque water, just so you don't see drips automatically through that. Like just pushing that reality just a little bit further, like so that the water is just a little more opaque, but it goes to translucent. Now I'm talking just really small, like half an inch or however big that is, you know, a small line of more opaque water. It would be pretty interesting and giving like a hint of like reflection of the pelican. So like the water would be like a light blue. You kind of almost already have that, like a reflection of it. Um, would be pretty cool. Yeah, maybe a little bit more color on the pelican. Like I would see, I would think having like some orangey red, some orangey red on like the beak or something. Um, 
I'm trying to think of like what color a pelican actually is. I, I don't even really know. I can't picture one right now, but like, you know, having that, that yellow go to like red or something like orangey red. And then you would have like a triadic color scheme, like the red, yellow, and blue. It, it would just add like some warmth to it and like more of like a, a focal area. Like not that you don't have one, the pelican is obviously the focal area, but it would just, it would bring the eye more in on the bird's face, you know, having that warmth there. It, it's interesting to, to think about, you know, th there's a million different things you could do with this. I'm just seeing like, if, if you gave this painting to me to work on, like, what would I do with it? Like, like what ideas would I have with it? And that's, that's, you know, what I'm looking at. And maybe just softening some of the edges, like you have soft edges on the top of the head, all these soft feathers, and then the wings are like really cut out. But just having like maybe the back side of the wings, uh, more toward the wing more toward the edge, having that softer, um, just a little bit softer, um, you know. Oh, okay, it's on canvas board. All right, so it's not on wood. I, it didn't look like it was wood, but okay. No biggie. Yeah, but you know, just bringing in more color on the pelican, like that red, that, that's all I can see like with it. I mean, it's an interesting piece, you know. Um, it's really interesting. Yeah, just softening some of the edges like you did on the top of the head, like just softening that. It doesn't have to be like feathers flayed out like that, like splayed out, but just like just really subtle softening on like the edges. And that way uh, more of your focal area will be around the face and like the front of the pelican and stuff. Um, you know. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool. Thanks for sending it in. Thanks for letting me uh, critique it. I know it's it's a uh, scary thing to go through. <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe yeah. I I think uh, Belinda's right. Like with the um, like more blue on the underside, just kind of like blending that the bird and the water together a little bit more, you know, having them uh, harmonize a little bit better, but uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. All right, well, that'll be the end of that one. I'm gonna take it off now. So yeah, thanks for sending that in for sure. Thank you. Appreciate it. So now you guys have nothing to look at but my face. Um, sorry, distracted. I get distracted so easily. No, it's a great painting. I'm not, you know, when you critique, it's not like putting anything down. I'm not saying it's like a bad painting or anything, but I, I mean, it's great work. It's just little, it's just little tiny things, you know, that just push it to the next level and make it, uh, you know, it, it's really subtle things. That's, that's the hard part about painting is like, it's such a subtle thing to like, uh, push it to the next level if that's what you're trying to do. And, um, you know, it's all personal too, so. That's the crazy thing about art. It's all, it's all personal opinion and personal preference and uh, there's no right or wrong. Do I have any art shows coming up? Are you talking to me? I'm gonna guess you're asking me, Dora. Uh, <laughs> No, I don't. I don't have any art shows coming up. I haven't been very active like in the gallery scene or like showing my art in California because I just, I don't even have time to do it. Um, one day maybe, yeah, it would be cool to have like an art showing and stuff. 
the only art showing I'd have now is if anybody lives in Davis, California and they want to come check out my paintings, you're free to come to my apartment and just check it out. See all the paintings on the walls and stuff. Um, I'm going to show the painting I just did again just for anybody if they're just now tuning in and like missed it or anything, you know. I just got to show off. That's all it is. <laughs> you know, I just want to look at it again and I think I could still mess with it. I'm probably going to finger paint here. I just need to uh, soften a few edges and kind of bring things together. Just using my finger here. So check out this technique. Just kind of rub it a little bit. I kind of only do it where there's like a lot of paint and I know it's going to like smear. I'm sure everybody's like going, oh, don't touch, you know, don't do that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, whatever, dude, you know, it's, I can do whatever I want. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's interesting. Try and get the good lighting again. So, there we go, folks. There it is for anybody tuning in now. That's the painting I did earlier. And, um. I'll get you the details, there we go, how about that? You get kind of a glare from the computer screen, but uh... There you go. There it is again. Uh, so. Oh, you want to see a close up of this painting? You want to see a close up of that? Is that what you're asking? This one? Yes, Jersey Girl, yeah, I do have a sketchbook. I just haven't drawn it in forever. Um, I'm gonna start doing that soon. I've said that, I've said that before, but uh, I'm gonna start sketching soon. And uh, I'll, I'll be able to show you guys what I've sketched in my sketchbook and stuff. I have a video on my YouTube channel, the last, like the last time I sketched in it, it's called like a tour of my sketchbook or something. Check out that video. That'll show you what was in my, what's in my sketchbook right now. And um, I'm going to sketch in the future. I'll show you guys my sketchbook. And I plan on doing like, I'll probably do some live stream uh, drawing videos if I can figure that out. So. Okay, yeah, I'll show that painting in just a second. Yeah, I would I would consider critiquing watercolor paintings for sure. I started out painting in watercolor, so um, yeah, I'll critique watercolor paintings. I know I know how watercolors work and stuff. What kind of canvas should you use if you're going to start painting? Um, you know, if you're going to start painting, like just just get um, some canvas panels from the store. They're like a dollar each or something. You know, start small and um, stuff like that. Do I ever sketch from imagination? Um, sometimes, yeah. I mean, so, I, I do paintings from imagination sometimes. It's very rare. I used to do it a lot. Uh, the painting I'm gonna show in a second that's back here on the wall, uh, I painted from my imagination. So um, let me show that to you guys right now because somebody requested it. So um, I'll be right back. 
this is the first live stream you've ever watched. Well, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll have more in the future and they'll be scheduled. That was done with acrylics a few years ago. Yeah, imagination is definitely harder. Imagination is definitely harder than referenced for sure. Um, a lot of people, before they start drawing from imagination, you got to start drawing from life because imagination stuff is built from things from life. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can critique right now. If you send me an email to SchaeferPainter at gmail.com, send me an email. I got, I got, I got some time here to kill uh, for critique. Absolutely. I got about 20, 15, 20 minutes. So, yeah. Send it my way, bro. Or girl, or lady. I'm just playing around. Yeah, send it to me. I would love to critique it right now, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, it is kind of a political, not a political statement. It's more like an environmental statement. It's, uh, you know, screwing up the planet, basically. No, it was acrylics, not oils. That was acrylics. Thanks for tuning in, Dora. Thank you. Glad you made this one. Hopefully, see you next time. Chelsea, yeah, I do have a farmer's market where I live, but it's like they do it like Wednesday and Saturdays, and it's so expensive that I don't, I don't even go to it. It's ridiculous how expensive like the fruit and juice and stuff is there. So uh, we have a local co-op and stuff that I go to that's really epic so I go there when I can afford it but uh, so. yeah insanity that's a good idea like you know just pay, like drawing noses drawing eyes drawing hands drawing legs drawing feet um, drawing torsos drawing the head in different angles like getting everything like basic down is is a good good way to start like I would just get a small sketchbook and just fill it up with hands, fill it up with noses, fill it up with eyes. Like get a sketchbook for each body part, basically. That's the way to do it, you know what I mean? Hold on, guys. I got to position myself better here. It's really annoying. My back is kind of... Uh. Somebody from Texas is calling me again. I'm not answering. I'm not answering. It's crazy. Yes, I've been figure drawing. I did that once or twice, and uh, it was pretty cool. It's just, um, it's like fourteen dollars or something every time to do it, and it's uh, it's on the worst day of the week. They do it at like five o'clock in the evening on a Wednesday and it's in downtown right where uh, the farmer's market is. It's the busiest day to ever get down there. There's nowhere to park. It's, it's ridiculous. So I don't, <laughs> I don't really do the figure drawing anymore. I, I wish I could do it more. Part, part of the problem is I don't have time to do it. 
yeah, California is great for fresh food and fruit and stuff. I get the fresh, like, ever since moving to California, that's one of the reasons why I moved here, because the food is so epic. I love fruit and vegetables and fresh fruit and stuff, but it's really expensive. It, it can be really expensive depending on uh, what you get and where you live and stuff. And But uh, it's good to hear, Jersey girl, that you got a sketchbook and you're drawing from life. That's the best thing to do. That's one of the best things to do. So, message retracted. Okay, you just sent your paintings to my email. Okay, I got them now. Uh, they're not showing up for some reason, but I did get the email. I don't know if it's my computer or what. Things are kind of going slow. Okay, it's freezing up now, great. Oh, great. It's four o'clock. Sorry folks, my internet is like, it's freezing up for some reason. I don't know what's happening. The world is ending. It's nice knowing all you guys. Come on, man. What is happening, dude? Oh, the tab just disappeared. What the frick? I can't cuss that much. I got kids watching. I might have kids watching. I hope you guys can still see me. What is going on? All right, I still have 15 minutes, so hopefully I can get this figured out in like 15 minutes. <sighs> I gotta mix up all this paint. Last time I painted, I let the, uh, okay, I got to get rid of the internet. This just is not working. That sucks. I hope the stream still works. Okay, back in business, I think. Let me let me try again. All right, let me I got to scroll back through the uh, chat here, guys. Everything This is a good question. When you were starting out with art, how did you overcome fear if you had any? Um, you know, over time, it just, it, you get, you get more confident, um, over time. It's, you got to do, you know, the, the thing is to get over the fear, you have to do it and you have to, you have to challenge yourself. You have to really push yourself to do things that you don't think you can do and that you're probably going to fail at. And, uh, you'll get more confidence that way because the more mistakes you'll make, you'll learn from all those. Mistakes is just a way to learn. So the more you learn, you just start overcoming that fear. You go, man, I already painted something this hard. This should be pretty easy. And you just get confident like that. You just build up um, that confidence uh, of painting and of, of doing anything. It's like, that. it's like that with anything in life. Um, Hold on, guys. This thing's all. But it's, it's it's like that with anything in life. Like if you're scared to do something, most people would stop doing it. But you know, the thing you got to do is. Um, Yeah, 
is just do it, you know. Brandon, what made you switch from oils to or uh, blah, blah, blah. what made you switch from acrylics to oils? Because your acrylic painting looks so good. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I just got really frustrated with acrylics, and um, I just wanted to try something different. I needed something new. I just, I, I just needed to try something different, and it, it worked. So. So I got to mix up all this paint. Otherwise I let it dry last time. And before I started this live stream, like it was such a pain getting all this dried up paint off my palette. I had to use rubbing alcohol and a uh, razor blade scraper. So I'm just going to mix all this into a gray. I'm going to check my email in just a second, guys. Do another uh, critique, hopefully. So... I know it's getting kind of boring now, huh? I should probably get off of here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Above the whiteboard, those are eight by ten. Yeah, no problem. Burnout, 40k. You know, it's just, it's just, uh, it's getting that building up that confidence and doing more. Just do it. You know, don't sit there and think, overthink all the time. People, you know, you get stuck in your mind and all that, and it's. Uh, I'm getting a lot of people want critiques now. Uh, for some reason, Gmail is being really weird right now. It's not. It's really bizarre. Like it's not loading correctly. It's not the site isn't like. Oh snap! These cat paintings are cool, dude. These are watercolor. Are you kidding? Okay, let's. That is. I'll show you guys. I'm saving them right now. You guys will see in just a second here. I'm going to do as many critiques as I can, so I'm going to just, I'm going to push through these. I got like 10 more minutes, and then I got to go pick up my girlfriend from school again. And, um, okay, browse. <laughs> so here's the cat painting. Let me just make it smaller so you guys can see the whole thing. So here's the watercolor cat painting. It's pretty epic. Yeah, reading, actually reading, yeah, being more knowledge, being having more knowledge about what you're trying to do will give you confidence. Good point. Yeah, you know, usually when you do a painting, um, usually when you do a painting, it, sometimes you have to do it twice, and usually the second time is going to be better uh, than the first because you learned a lot of things. So uh, anyway, let's let's let me critique this cat painting. It's pretty cool. I don't really know how to critique it, honestly. Uh, that that space and like galaxy, you know, all the colors and everything. It's epic. And the way you did like the the white dots and everything. It's really cool. Really cool. And the cat's eyes are a galaxy and stuff. I mean this is this is an epic painting. Did you use like uh for the white the white dots and the whiskers and everything? Did you use like the um I forgot what that's called? Uh 
It's like this the stuff you put down and it dries and then you peel it off. Did you use that? That worked pretty well if you did that. Yeah, the cosmic crown. That's pretty epic. I, I'm I'm trying to critique this, and I, it's it's epic, dude. I mean, how can I critique this? There's not much for me to say. I mean, the the color's great. Um, I mean, you got the white whiskers in there, like a cat would. I mean, you got it's 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 really good, for, especially for water. Watercolor is very difficult. I mean, I'm surprised all that color didn't just turn to mud. You know. Um, I just don't have the patience for watercolor anymore. I started out with watercolor and I got pretty good. Like I could do some paintings pretty well, but, uh, not at, not at this level, really. This is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna throw the next one up because I, I don't, if anybody else has something to say, go ahead and say it, but I, I don't really have anything to say other than that. It's pretty epic. I like, I enjoy it. So... Thanks for sending it in. That was cool. I think a lot of people enjoyed that. Okay, I'm going to have to transform this one. Okay, I did the wrong thing. I transformed me. There we go. Oh, no, I, I don't transform it. Sorry. Sorry about that. She's laying upside down. I apologize. I didn't see your your signature there. That, you're really good at like getting the the fur on cats and stuff. I mean, look at that. You actually put the dark on top of the light. I mean, that is that is really good. I really enjoy that and like the details here and stuff. And it's not even that detailed, like it's just a big stroke. I mean, that's, that's really cool. I mean, I don't have much to say about this one either other than like composition basically. I mean, that's all personal preference, but like, you know, the composition's like, it's kind of just weird, but it's not even like bad. It's not like bad, weird. It's like you don't see stuff like this all the time. So it just, it really stands out. But uh, I really like, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Like you got the darks really well. The values are just really great. And I, I like the red, the pinkish red in here and, and the light blue. I mean, it's, I mean, it just, I don't know about lightening the darks and warming them up. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's, you know, maybe, maybe a little warmth in there. I mean, it, it, it all depends, you know, you never know. It, they could be a lot warmer. It's just, it's a photo. So you can't really, it's hard to judge like color and stuff like that with a photo, but this is really cool. Really great. I don't have anything else to say. I want to try to get to some other ones. Ooh, I got like I got like five minutes, guys. I gotta hurry up. Um, I'm gonna try to do like two more. Another person emailed me, so I'm gonna try to squeeze this in here. Um, shrink this, boom. I'm just going to put it over my face, who cares? So Leah, thanks for sending these in. Glad you're checking out the stream today.
Hey, no problem. I was, I'm, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you sent those in. It was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, definitely. Okay, so this one, sorry, I was reading the chat, guys. I got sucked in. Uh, it might just be the photo, but every everything looks very cool. Um, you have a lot of realistic things going on here. I like it. I enjoy it. I think uh, there's a lot of interesting things happening if you zoom in here. I mean... I mean, great details like on the boats, but you didn't you didn't overly detail. You know what I mean? Like it's it's good detail. Like you just used a few strokes in here to get it to look like a boat. That's what I like. That's what I like trying to do. And that's probably I mean that is epic right there. That little the one all the way to the left. That boat all the way to the left. I forgot you guys can't see the the mouse. Little buoys in here. I mean it's pretty epic. I. I'm more concerned about the values are, are, you know, there's a lot of darkness in here that might not be need to be that dark, but um, it's not terrible. It's not bad or anything. Uh, it's all personal preference uh, for the most part, but uh, maybe like warming something up. I mean, although it is, it looks kind of like a night, night type of scene almost, like twilight looking. Um, you know, the lights coming from the building and then the dark sky and the dark reflections here. I like it. Um, you know, you kind of have this, this composition of like between the boat and the, and the building. Um, you know, and the buoys, the buoys kind of lead you around in a circle. So I, I, it has some good eye flow and stuff and movement. It's just watching those colors being... You know, just be, just be careful of the colors and the values and working that out. But otherwise, it's it's great. It's not a bad effort. Um, you know, creating some more interest on this hill back here. You know, maybe, um, you know, just adding some dips into it or like some heightened areas. Uh, other than that, pretty good. I don't, I don't see anything that wrong with it. You know, maybe a little bit of the drawings off here and there, but that's, you know, that comes in time. So... Oh, so, yeah, a lot of depth in that painting, for sure, a lot of depth. Um, yeah, late evening, it definitely looked like it, so you, you did good on that, you did pretty well, so good, good work, Leo, thanks for sending that in. I wish I had more time to do another one, um, but I definitely have to get going, and... On that note, my girlfriend just texted me, come get me. So I got to head out of here, guys. I uh, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the uh, live stream painting. It wasn't, as, it wasn't as epic as my last one, but it was still epic enough. Um, I'll try to have some, some uh, different scenes and stuff uh, for the next one. So um, Yeah, did you have fun painting it though? That's that's the important thing. See, Bob knows the deal, man. Bob knows the deal. You got to have fun with painting. If it's not fun, then just what's the point in it? You know, you got to enjoy life, enjoy yourself. You only get one chance to live. This is it. It better be fun every day. There's opportunity every day to do what you love, do what you want to do. Get out there and 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 do it. So anyway, great great note to end on. Thank you, Bob. And uh I will try to schedule some. Stay tuned for like a week and a half in the next week and a half or something. Check out my website. I'll have the schedule down at the bottom of the website on every page. Check that out. And uh, I might have some scheduled times coming up, maybe on the weekends, maybe, uh, I'm not sure. It's, I'm just playing it by ear. So, um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Take care of yourself. Peace be with you. Peace.